In the middle of the 19th century, London had a problem. It had too many dead people. And not nearly enough burial plots. Recently deceased bodies were having to be exhumed and then scattered in order to make room for more people to be put in the ground. Now that was obviously an enormous health risk. That contributed to cholera epidemics, which in turn contributed to more dead people. And so two industrialists came up with uh, an audacious plan. They would build Europe's largest cemetery, 20 miles outside London in Brockwood, and they would run trains from there to here, to this terminus here in Waterloo. And it would be the London Necropolis Railway. There would be first-class funerals and second-class funerals and third-class funerals, which at least guaranteed you a grave site, which was a cut above the mass graves that London was using at the time for the dead that couldn't afford anything better. And here is the astonishing thing, the thing you might not know. It worked. The London Necropolis Railway was a real thing for nearly a century. The first train ran in 1854, and while the motor cars starting to become popular did diminish the service in the 20th century, it ran into World War II. The only thing that stopped it was the bombing out of the railway tracks and this whole area during the Blitz. If those tracks hadn't been bombed out, theoretically, we could still be seeing 21st century hearse trains going out to Brockwood. And that is something you might not have known.